Now that we have all of our source ingredients ready to go, it's time to put them all together and add the power of carbon into the mix. Before I import everything from Vectorworks, we're first going to make a new scene that is better suited for the rig. We're going to use a demo scene that is included in the Carbon for Unreal demo content. So to access this, we're going to go into the content drawer, go to All, and if you do not have this plugins folder, go to the top right of the content browser, go to the settings menu, and check on Show Plugin Content. Then we can go into Plugins, Carbon for Unreal Content, Demo Content, Maps. And here we see the imaginary underscore studio level. Here you can see that it is the exact rig that I had in Vectorworks. So what I'm going to do is right click and duplicate this. And I'm going to call it Vectorworks underscore show. And then I will open and save this. And here what I'm going to do is just select my fixtures. And then I'm going to select the first one and then hold shift select the last one to bulk select and then delete all the fixtures and then i'm going to do the same thing with the trussing and then i'm going to save this and now we have a blank scene and we are ready to import everything from vectorworks into this level first things first we're going to start with geometry and remember that we have exported it in two different ways so first, we're going to go through how to import FBX into Unreal. So first, go up to the top left of the editor, go to the File menu, and then go Import into Level. Now we can find where we stored our FBX file. Simply select the FBX file and click Open. Next, you'll need to choose the location where all the geometry will be stored within your content browser. So I'm going to right click on the content folder, go new folder, and I'll title this folder FBX underscore geo. Click enter, and then you can click OK. Now you are able to adjust a lot of different import settings for FBX. We can leave everything the same. And under the root node, you can see all of our levels from Vectorworks translated into Unreal. Under hierarchy type, I recommend creating level actors, but you can also experiment with the other options. Once we're ready, we can click import. And Unreal will import everything into Unreal. Once the FBX import has finished, we will be met with a content browser window where we can see all of the geometry translated into Unreal static meshes. If we close out of this, we can see that everything, all our trussing, has been added into our scene. And we can see that we can select each element. And I'm just going to delete the stage and the camera because I do not need it. Next, we're going to import again using Datasmith. To import a Datasmith file, you must first enable the Datasmith import plugin. So to do this, go to the Edit menu, go to Plugins, and then search for Datasmith. You must ensure that this Datasmith importer plugin is enabled. If you do not, simply press to toggle it on. With the Datasmith plugin installed in your project, simply go to the Place Actors menu, and then you'll find a Datasmith section. You can go to File Import, and then here we can select the Datasmith file that we have made. So we can select the .udatasmith file and click Open. Like the FBX, we will choose which folder we would like to store all the geometry. And then I will only import geometry. And here you can see that all our trussing has been imported. Next, let's import our fixtures using the MVR file. So to do this, we're going to first go to the carbon menu and then open the patch window. So to import MVR, go to the import patch menu. And then in the top left, we can select our MVR file. Once we have selected the file, we can click Import. And here under the Preview Data section, 
we will see all the data that was within our MVR file. Please ensure that all the carbon mapping dropdowns match the data in the MVR. Once everything looks good, you can click Process, and we will now go to the Association section. Here's where we will properly match all the data from the MVR to carbon assets. So you can simply use the search box to search for your fixtures. Once you have associated each fixture type, you can now click Spawn, and we will see that our scene is populated with all the fixtures from Vectorworks. After everything has been imported from Vectorworks into Unreal, it is now time to visualize your design. Proceed to the next video to learn how to connect your lighting console to Carbon.